hi guys and welcome back to the channel everyone this video is all about normal flora as you have already seen in the titan of video in this video we will discuss about introduction of normal flora some common sites and their present respective organisms and the most commonly asked question beneficial and harmful role of normal flora so without any further ado let's get started Hello, Namaste, all our previous viewers. Welcome to my channel, Med Gossip SD. I am Subhas. The main objective of this channel is we bring basic medical and clinical science topics, explanation with the related diagrams, much as possible, and frequently asked exam-oriented questions of that related topic. So make sure you hit that red button of subscription and the bell icon so that you could never miss the updates. So, normal flora. Normal flora is found on the body surfaces which is contiguous with the outside environment. They are semi-permanent, consist of varying with major life changes. They can cause infection in certain conditions like if misplaced, for example, fecal flora to urinary tract or abdominal cavity or skin flora to catheter or if a person becomes compromised normal flora may overgrow like oral thrust so they have not only negative side but also contribute some positive aspects to health some of them are they do protective host defense by maintaining the conditions such as other organism may not grow they serves nutritional function by synthesizing vitamin b and vitamin k now let's discuss about some site where the respective organisms are found as their normal habitat or normal flora. We have site and medically important organisms. Some sites are blood or internal organs, cutaneous surface including urethra and outer air, nose, oropharynx, gingival area, stomach, colon and vagina. So let's talk about medically important organisms. In blood or internal organs, they are not found because they are generally sterile. In cutaneous surfix including urethra and outer air, Staphylococcus epidermidis is found. In nose, we can find Staphylococcus aureus normally. In oropharynx, we can find Streptococci viridens including Streptococcus mutans. In gingival area, we can find anaerobes like Bacteroids, Prevotella, Streptococcus, Actinomyces etc. In stomach, there is none of normal flora. In colon, we can divide microorganism in two parts. First, in breastfeeding baby, we can find bifidobacterium, whereas in adults, we can find bacteroids or ischia. In vagina, we can find lactobacillus. Now, let's discuss about the important part of this topic, that is beneficial and harmful role. First, let's discuss about beneficial role. Normal flora usually prevents or block the attachment of other pathogenic microorganisms by occupying their habitat and compete with other pathogenic microorganisms for nutrition. Next we have some normal flora produces antimicrobial chemical substance. They can create the acidic environment through different metabolism process that can inhibit the growth of others. And some of the normal flora produces mucin which creates slippery environment that prevents the attachment of other microorganisms. So now let's discuss about harmful role of normal flora. Normal flora has also negative impact on the host. Some of them are, if the normal flora escapes from their normal location, they can cause disease. For example, E. coli are commonly found in intestine, but it will cause urinary tract infection if introduced to the urinary bladder. Immunosuppression condition can allow their other harmless or normal flora to cause disease. For example, AIDS or some other cancer treatments 
and transplant rejection drugs all suppress the immune system and allow the normal flora to cause occasionally serious diseases. Some of the normal flora can transfer to other host and can cause disease, Nigeria meningitis, Streptococcus pneumoniae, Haemophilus influenzae. So now let's come to the last part of the video which is question part. Some of the commonly asked question from this topic is number one define normal flora number two explain the beneficial and harmful role of normal flora so thank you for making me a part of your day like the video if you did subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and see you in the next video adios